you are a collector of sorts, and you always have really good antique finds. And what is it about an item when you're thrifting or vintage shopping or on any kind of antique hunt? What is it that usually strikes your fancy? Um, I'm looking for something with a real trace of a human. Um, so that means like I love the idea of like a much loved and used item and something that isn't necessarily in good condition or mint condition. It's about feeling some sort of bond with the person who owned it before me um, and, you know, being a part of that continuing journey. Would you agree that the sacred space of one's bedroom is at its most potent during teen and youth years? And if so, why? I would agree. But I think it's because it's when you're figuring out who you'll be in the outside world by creating your own world. It's like you hit puberty and you become really angsty and privacy becomes really important. And you harbor these feelings of, like, resentment, even if it's subtle, towards just, like, anyone who knew you when you were a kid. So that means, like, your family. You just feel, like, inexplicably oppressed by everyone for no reason. So I think that's when, like, it becomes so important for you to have your own space where, like, there are no, like, you do your homework in it. You have people over and kiss them in it. You, like make a zine in it, listen to records, like, everything happens there, um, well, maybe not, I mean, some people are into, like, their basements. For someone who really lives your art, like, so much of you is in your artwork, even when it seems like it's purely aesthetic, it's, like, also very personal, and it's, like, so synonymous with your style and your space, and the music you listen to, and it's all there, and it's all you. And I'm wondering if it's ever scary to share that online, and if there's anything you feel the need to keep for yourself. I think, like, lately, actually just recently, I have had some weird feelings about sharing so much of myself and my work online. So, basically, I I went on somebody's blog, and I saw an image that was a direct copy of a drawing I'd done, and it was titled exactly the same. And that made me feel really yuck and I was like, and a little bit scared because it's like, geez, like, you know, um, I didn't realize people did that, but some people do. And yeah, it's, it's fine. But, um, it did make me feel like, gee, maybe I should be less generous or trustworthy of people. Um, you know, and maybe I shouldn't put stuff online, but, um, then I sort of remembered the main reason why I make art is because I want as many people as possible to see it um, and to get joy from it. And I can't see my, I just can't see the point of making if I keep it locked away only for myself. So I love, I love sharing um, my work and that's the reason why, I guess. And I think, yeah, I'll continue to share obsessively because of that reason. If Rookie had infinity dollars to do like a wild, amazing dream project, um, what would it be? Okay. We would have, like, multiple headquarters so that no one had to feel left out. Like, New York, but, like, Poland, like, everywhere. Because we have contributors kind of all over the world. And um, they would be filled with lots of cool stuff, like Hawaiian punch, water fountains, a la Mr. Deeds, a really sophisticated art house film. Um... And then there would be other fun projects, like, it would be cool if there was a rookie summer camp, if we had, like, a TV network. Um, I don't know, we would kill it in all arenas, so if we had infinity dollars, we would just dominate the world much faster.